Hey guys, this is WS6990 model, the DVB-T modulator device or selling series. This is the device body made of completely metal shell externally, very firm. And there are some accessories placed inside. This is the CD, the manual paper inside. Yeah, actually sometimes it could be paper for you. This is the USB connection cable. And uh, of course, the AC-DC power adapter. Typically, we can offer four different types of AC-DC power adapters to users from different regions. Optional, yeah. And to the AC spec, it sports 100 to 240 volts AC, 50, 60 hertz. So it is almost uh, worldwide applicable for AC plug-in. For example, for users from Europe, we mainly offer this type of AC-DC power adapter to him, yeah. This is for AU, US, and this is for UK. Some, some users from Ireland, UK, Malta, uh, or Malaysia, etc. will be offered with this. Okay, this is the device uh, itself and we can roughly check its specification and key features. Let's check. This is the WS6990 DVB-T modulator. There are some key features description supporting co-FDM modulation 8.264 encoding. Yeah, it's both a single input modulator convert to one DVB channel, namely through the RF port output yeah uh, it supports various video format compatibility and bandwidth 6 7 8 megahertz optional frequency range 100 to 860 megahertz and you can continuously adjust RF signal output level ranging from 70 dBUV from 100 dBMUV step 1 dBMUV. The screen, this small screen, 2.4 inch. The carrier supports 2K or 8K. Yeah. Okay, about the specification, we can take a look. DAVT standard constellation, QBSK 16 com and 16, 64 com, bandwise. 6, 7, 8, carrier 2 or 8K, guard interval 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 sixteenth, 1 thirty second. The code rate 1 second, 2 third, 3 fourth, 5 six, 7 eighth. The frequency range 100 to 860 megahertz. Output level 70 to 100 dB mv. Output impedance 75 ohms. CVBS input is both video resolution. This and this. Collector RCA. ADMI input compression. 8.264 video resolution. and collector, of course, a DMI. In general, this device is powered by the 12 volt DC, 1.5 amps, or sometimes two amps, to run this modulator device. Okay, we have seen the device main specification and also the key features. We can also check the, the ports to read what ports are used for. These are indicators, these are buttons, of course, RF output for DVB-T output, yeah. And in, video in, we see. This is for tenor connection. This three, three BS AV in. This is a DMI input. As to the input, DVB more monitor or video recorder or DVB-S2 STB, yeah. Here, it is for power plugging, of course. Okay, 
Let's check the meter by ourselves to read all information on this menu. Now we click OK button. Click install at first. We see there is this country name UK. And there are 45 country names in total inside. Let's quickly go one by one. Okay, let's so stop at UK. Then next channel name. They are CH21 to Okay, we see 69 in total. Yeah. Let's go back again to check last the frequency. Maybe we as users can edit it. So now I, I, I will not do any change. The bandwidth 8, 6, 7 mega. So we Then next, I have attenuation, the signal source, and CVBS HDMI optional. Then next, LCN. Yeah. Let's return to go to DVB settings, 8K, 2K optional. Modulate QBSK COM16, COM64 optional. FEC 7A. One try one second, two third, three fourths, five six. Yeah, guard interval one thirty two, one fourth, one eighth, and one sixteenth. Optional, right? Let's return to go to IS setting. There are a lot of options. Maybe we as users can edit for our own use. Okay, return. System setup. In default, it is in English, but various other languages are supported and can be set. For example, for example, French, Spanish, etc. Italian, French. Okay, I will now try one by one. Here it is the modulator mode. DBT, DBC, SDBT. Of course, this device is designed for DVB-T modulator, as to the other two modes displayed here. It can be worth a try, but it is not guaranteed. Okay, next, key tone. We can turn off the noise, so there is no noise, but we will keep it back. And now, the last factory set, we set to factory status when we need it. Okay, so, Let's go back and this is the whole meter and the, these are the ports for this meter. And now we see one short example about its settings. Let's roughly check how to install it. Taking a HDMI in as an example, the IF out is connected with our TV, maybe, yeah. We can do some setup for channels.
Okay, these are the information for this WS6990 DVT modulator device. So thank you for your time.